Coucou et bienvenue sur French Lover. Uh, hello and welcome to French Lover. Today we are going to talk about irregular verbs in the ER verb. We've learned how to conjugate ER verbs. Verbs are in the ER in the present tense. But there are some rules, some irregular ones that you have uh, to note. Okay, just little changes, nothing much. Okay, so there is a list of them here. So let's get to it. Irregular verbs. Les verbes irréguliers. Les verbes irréguliers. Les verbes irréguliers. So verbs that end with G E R in front of letter O and letter A, you keep the letter E. You know, normally the rule is when you're conjugating in the present tense E R verbs. You need to remove the G, uh, the E R, before adding the E, the E S, the E, the O N S, E Z, E N T. But there are some verbs that will have E in the new form, or in any other form, as long as it's in front of A or O, like the ones ending with G E R. I was just talking. Let's just go to the example so you get it better. So, for example, we have manger. Is a common one. Manger. Manger is to eat. Okay. Manger ends with G E R. Of course, according to the rule, we first remove the E R before adding the E E S E and the rest. So we have nager too, which is to swim. Also ends with G E R. Okay. So we have je mange, tu manges, il mange. Then we have nous mangeons. Have you seen it? We kept the E in front of the O and O. There's supposed to be an S there. So you add S in your note. Okay. We left the E there. Why? Because we have to maintain that J sound. Like manch, manch. But if we remove the E, it will be mangong. We will make, which will make sense. Everybody's having J sound. So this will be having gong. So to have the J sound, we leave the E to give us manjong. So, in front of letter O or letter A, you leave that E in the middle, okay? Remember, add S in that mangeant. Je mange, tu manges, il mange, nous mangeons. Without the E, is mangon, which is wrong, okay? Vous mangez, il mange. Il mange. Don't pronounce that NT, just mange, okay? So, the next irregularity, okay, adverbs and the with C, E, R. Okay, so for verbs and the with C, E, R, it's simple. The C, we change, we have a C, C, D, what we call the C, D, la accent. That little tail on the C is C, D, la C, D, C, D, la in English. Okay, so the C, we change to a C, C, D, in front of letter A and letter O, okay? Uh, we have lancé to throw, placé to place, glacé to ice, okay? For example, je lance, tu lances, il lance, nous lançons, okay? That C has a little tail, la like CD, okay? Without that tail, we will be sounding lancon. Which is wrong since everybody else is sounding like an S. Lance, lance, lance. Then here yeah, is coming Lancon. So we need to put that little tail so as to change it to Lanson. Vous lancez, il lance. Je lance, tu lances, il lance. Nous lançons. Vous lancez, il lance. Remember, if you don't letter O or letter A, that little C, we carry the cédula accent. La CD. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, the next verbs ending with y e r, y e r. Verbs ending with uh, first of all, verbs ending y e r. The y changes when conjugated to a letter i, except in front of a nu and vu. That's the first and the second person. Um, Plural, first person plural and second person plural. So the Y will change to an I. Okay. For example, balayer. Balayer is to sweep, nettoyer is to clean. So when you conjugate normally, it was supposed to be B A L A Y E. 
okay but you change the y to a letter i je balai tu balai il balai in front of no it goes back to the y no balayon so as to enable easy pronunciation no balayon vous balayez vous too goes back to a letter y vous balayez and then when you go back to il it changes back to a letter i il balai je balai tu balai il balai nous balayons vous balayez il balai so note the y r changes to uh, the y change to letter i when conjugated in the present tense in the future tense that's another story okay we will get to that so just master this one for now okay swivel on next uh, verbs and with e n e r o e m e r o e t e r o e s e r o e d e r o as long as there is an e then a consonant before the e r o um the second to the last e will change it will carry what we call a grave accent you must have seen this accent in the common words like pair, father, mère, mother. Okay, so any verb at all that has e before a consonant and then e r e n e r e t e r e s e r e d e r e t e r e m e r. Get my point. The second to the last e carries a grave accent, accent graph except in front of nu and vu you remove the accent and also even if the e had another accent already that's accent aigu the other one you will sometimes see verbs like that there's no problem change that accent to an accent graph okay so uh, for example amener amener to bring someone okay be careful apporter is to bring something Amener to bring someone, acheter to buy, peler to peel. Okay, so we have jamen. He changes the sound. It's of jamen, mi jamen, eh, eh, so jamen. Tu amen, il amen, nous ame, non amenant. Okay, you remove that sound. That eh, vous amenez, il. Zamen, we put back that e sound. E. Tu jamen, tu amen, il amen, nous amenons. Vous amenez, il amen. Okay? Don't forget the accent. Except the nous and vous, you remove it. Remember, this is the present tense. All the rules we come for future or past tense for now just uh, memorize this once okay so for every verb and the e n e r e m e r e t e r e d e r e s e r okay they do that they carry a grave accent the second to the last it carries a grave accent try doing your own in the comment section and um, post i will check on it and see whether it's okay or not so that's it the last but not the least we have the special er verb appeler and jeter they have a rule on their own on its own it's special appeler and jeter with their derivatives what i mean by derivative is verbs taken from them like rappeler s'appeler and then jeter rejeter all the verbs taken from them or that look like them follow this rule just for them appeler and jeter with their derivative for jeter just rejeter and jeter appeler we have s'appeler rappeler épeler okay they are not many so these ones are special the appelé with double the l when conjugated except in front of nu and vu why the jeté with double the t except in front of nu and vu remember this is the rule just for them just for them 
like uh, the rule we just spoke about the E-L-E-R, E-T-E-R, the E-M-E-R, E-N-E-R, that one is different. This applies only to appelé and jeté and it's derivative. So, example, appelé to call, jeté to throw away something. Jeté is different from lancer. Lancer is to throw something to someone. For example, throw me the ball. Okay, we are playing and then I tell you to throw me the ball or throw me something. But jeté is to throw away something. Like something that is no more good or you don't want it. You are dispose of, disposing of it. Maybe in the trash or you are burning it. So you are throwing it away. It's different. We have sapelé. We have rappelé. We have rejeté. So be careful. This rule goes only for them. Okay, example. J'appelle double L. Tu appelles double L. Il appelle double L. Nous appelons one L. Vous appelez one L. Il appelle double L. So if you were to conjugate jeter, it would be the same thing. Je jette double T. Tu jettes double T. Il jette double T. Nous jetons one T. Vous jetez one T, il jette double T. Remember, it is not the same with the last rule we just spoke about. It applies only to appeler, jeter, and their derivatives. Derivatives are things taken from something. Okay? And I just mentioned their derivative. Rappeler, s'appeler, rejeter, épeler. Okay? So be careful you double the l and the t except in front of nu and vu and this rule applies across board be that in the future be that in the past you will double the l you will double the t okay so try doing a uh, jeté or s'appeler and comment it down or send it to me my email i will mark and then tell you whether you're okay or not so if you have any other questions, don't forget to comment, follow, like, subscribe, uh, share. If you have any other question on irregular verbs, uh, don't forget to mention it or comment it. I don't know anyhow you want to do it. Okay.